Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome back, everyone. We have some pretty special guests here today. Please welcome Jim Moore. He's the director of the Performing Arts Center at the University, Tim UCC, and Mary Elizabeth Bowden. She is the founder and core trumpeter of the all-female brass ensemble, Seraph Brass. Did I say that right? It's actually a Seraph. Seraph. Like sweet Seraphim, right? Okay, <laughs> thank you for joining us today, and we're honored to have you, Mary. You made a long journey to be here, correct? Yes, yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a core member of Seraph Brass. I founded the group in 2014, and I'm an international soloist, and Seraph Brass is a lot of fun because we do a lot of touring, about 40, 60, 40 to 60 concerts a year all around the world. So how many? 40 to 60. Amazing, and what has that experience been like for you to travel so much? Well, all of us in the group really love traveling, and so we most recently, recently went to South Korea and mm -hmm. China, and we just love seeing different parts of the world and different parts of the country. Amazing. And is there a favorite place that you've been that took your breath away, maybe something unexpected? Most recently, South Korea, because it was right by the water, similar mm -hmm. to here, and okay. we love being near water. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And good food, I bet, too, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so tell me about the upcoming performance with Seraph Brass. Uh, what can attendees look forward to seeing at the Performing Arts Center? We're playing a lot of popular music, um, classical arrangements, and so I think the tunes will be familiar to the audience. And we also have a mix of some original works for quintet too that are very exciting. So we love to do a mix of different kinds of music, and it's you'll see a lot of trumpets on the stage. Nice. The other trumpeter and I play, we, there'll probably be about 10 trumpets on the stage that we switch between. I love it. I love how y'all kind of have this like happy circle and it's serif brass. I keep saying it wrong because in my head it's a certain way, right? So tell me, why do you think it's important to expose the Coastal Bend to this diverse musical experience? Because it's something different. I love that you're going to play music that we might recognize and then also introduce us to some new sounds. Why do you think it's so important for us to hear this type of music? Well, not only will you hear a great concert, but um, I do believe that women are still a little bit underrepresented in the brass world and classical music world. and so. We just love to show, to highlight the best, some of the best female musicians in the country. And so I think it's not something that you normally see. Absolutely. And Jim, tell me what excites you about having this experience available at the Performing Arts Center. Well, I'll just, I'll just kind of amplify what Mary was saying because I w sat in on the rehearsal last night. Mm -hmm. And A, um, if you love West Side Story, you might hear that on the concert mm, because they do piece. some excerpts from West Side Story. Okay. Um, but their sound is remarkable. They, they create a sound that um, sounds like an entire orchestra. And mm -hmm. we're just talking about five musicians. And so um, you'll hear all those parts that you might hear in a, in a big orchestra. And yet it's just these five women making this amazing sound. And um, for me personally, uh, it's important that the pack and that the Bravo series represents the whole spectrum of music. And so to have an all female ensemble is really important. And I think um, they, they do it really, really well, and, and I think anybody who comes to the concert is going to walk out humming and, and excited to come back for other concerts. Absolutely, and maybe inspiring some youth in our community to take up a new brass instrument, yeah. mm -hmm. which is very promising and exciting, especially to see a group of females, I have to say, girl power, yeah. yes. And so let's go over the details. Tell me when and where we can have this experience. Yeah, so, uh, well, there's two things that are happening. They're actually doing a free uh, master class this afternoon at 3 o'clock at the PAC. Okay. Just walk in the door and, and listen to how they make music. And also, really? it's going to be the Islander Brass Quintet, which is made up of students uh, at the university, mm -hmm. so they're going to be working with them, and you'll kind of get a behind-the-scenes feel. So the concert's at 7.30, and the box office opens at 6.30. You can get tickets right now online and also over the phone, and um, they're only $15. Oh, uh, that's telling you, these are like top-flight musicians. Nowhere in the world would you be able to walk in the door for $15, $15 mm -hmm. and hear musicians of this caliber. Absolutely. And for those of you who don't know, PAC is slang for the Performing Arts <laughs> Center at our university, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. One of the most, and I think I say this every time, every time stunning mm -hmm. yes. places of architecture. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just breathtaking to walk in there. The sound and the acoustics, and they're incredible. And I've, you've been all around the world. What do you think about the Performing Arts Center? Well, when I drove onto campus last night and saw the amazing view, um, it was fantastic. And then walking into the hall, it is a very beautiful hall and very, very easy to play in. <laughs> Absolutely, I bet, right? We've got mm -hmm. that nice echo in there. And so we have that event today at three o'clock, which I think is really incredible. Some of us might have time to pick up the kids and let them have this experience as well. Yep. Or if it's just something that you enjoy, a lot of us like to hang around the house, enjoy dinner, cook and clean to classical music and different types of, um, 
of musical instrumental experiences, which I think is really great. And before we get too carried away, I want to talk about what we have here. Is this some of the music that you've released? Yes, this is our newest CD, Asteria, which has a lot of our arrangements that we perform along with works by female composers that mm -hmm. we've commissioned for the group. And I've also brought along my solo CD, which is um, Trumpet and Strings. Beautiful. So if you want to get a little sample of what you may hear, here's your chance to do it. Just look them up. Available everywhere, iTunes and all those great places? Yes. Awesome. That's how you got to do it these days. So we encourage you all to check out and enjoy the Ferguson Bravo Presents, the award-winning ensemble, Seraph. Brass, I said it. Finally, I got it. Tonight at 7.30 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. For more info, visit www.pac.tamucc.edu. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, don't forget, 3 p.m., you can check out that, that free workshop, 3 o'clock. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We're wrapping up the show. When we come back, this is Coastal Living.